everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be my April reading plans. I'm using a new tripod that I got for my birthday for my family and I feel like it is super crooked and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I am pre-filming this video a little early so I might have actually already read one or two of these books at the end of March. I'm mentioning them just in case I didn't actually get to them but I am hoping to read all of these in April. I actually have a pretty big TBR for April. I don't really have a lot of new releases that I'm excited about. I'm gonna be really honest. I am not loving any new romances at the moment. I kind of want to read a lot of backlist romances. I feel like I'm really missing the 2014 romances. I actually don't have a lot on my TBR that came out back in like 2014, but I do have a couple that are a little bit older, so I feel like maybe that'll satisfy my cravings for older romances. At the beginning of the year, I said I wanted to reread like an old favorites every single month. I did reread some favorites in March, but I don't have any plans to reread an old favorite in April. I might continue my reread for the Beautiful Bastard series, but we'll see if I'm in the mood for that. I don't have any other plans to reread anything at the moment, so no rereads for April so far. I also don't have any plans to catch up on specific authors. This was also something I had talked about in my earlier reading plans TBR videos for the year. I wanted to catch up on a favorite author that I'm like behind on with their newer releases. I again don't have plans to do that for April. I feel like April is just going to be like a very all over the place month. I don't think I'm going to have any structure. But again, we'll see. I'm a mood reader so I could mention this whole TBR and not read a single one on this TBR, so who knows. I will leave the Goodreads list linked down below for all of the April releases that I'm excited about or curious about. There's only two that I think I'm actually going to read and kind of two I'm only excited about. And the first one is 10 Trends to Seduce Your Best Friend by Penny Reed. This was initially supposed to come out in March, but Penny Reed pushed it to April. And the other release I'm really excited about is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I have really enjoyed all of Abby's books so far. This one I'm a little nervous about because I'm pretty sure it is an age gap romance where the female character is older than the male character, which I am not really a fan of, but hopefully... Abby Jimenez can convince me that it works. The rest of my TBR is literally all over the place, so I'm going to kind of go through it very quickly. I am mentioning some other books I mentioned in previous reading plans videos, so will I get to them this month? Maybe, maybe not. The first book I hope to read in April is Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. I believe this is a new adult romance and it follows musicians. This has been on my TBR for years. I have owned this physical copy for literal years, so I do need to get to this this year anyways, but I really do want to read this in April. The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry is on my April TBR. This again is another book I've had on my TBR for years and I do want to read it this year. This came out in 2015, so it's still an older release. Um, I've heard really good things about this entire series. I think specifically about the like third book in the series, but I really want to read this first book and the entire series, so hopefully I can finally read this series in April. I think I'm finally going to read Bad Reputation by Kristen and Becca Ritchie. This is the new edition of the like Bad Reputation duology. It initially was two books and they made like a bind up of it and they like changed the order of the book and stuff. This is Willow and Garrison's book and fun fact I have not read their books. I remember when the authors were releasing like snippets in their newsletter or on their website they would release like short stories. It was way before they ever made books dedicated to Willow and Garrison. I'm a little hesitant to read this because it's been years since I have read any like addicted books and I don't know if I'm like emotionally prepared to go back into this world. It's just still very emotional for me so like I don't know if I want to read this but at the same time I do want to finally read Willow and Garrison's story because I just remember reading like little short stories that the author's 
had released back in the day. A newer release that I'm kind of curious about is Mafia Mistress by Mila Finelli. This came out last year. I've heard really good things about it and a lot of people have said that it's very reminiscent of like older Mafia romances, which I really, really love. So I definitely want to give this one a try. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I've seen this book around a lot lately, so I kind of want to give it a try. All I really know about it is that it is a grumpy sunshine romance. A new release that I'm kind of curious about, like this one has really piqued my interest, and that is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. I feel like it's been a while since I've read like some high school new adult romance. This is another random one, but I've seen this everywhere on TikTok and it is Lila by Ashlyn Montgomery. I believe this is a Wattpad book. I don't know if this is still free on Wattpad to read, because if it is, I will definitely read it on there, but if not, I do believe you can buy a paperback version on Amazon. That's where I saw everybody talking about it on TikTok, because the uh, paperback was like massive. It was like almost like a textbook size. I believe the author has since reformatted the book, but it sounds like a very cute sweet, heartfelt, emotional, kind of grumpy sunshine romance. Kyland by Mia Sheridan. This book recently got a new cover and it's gorgeous. The cover is very pretty. This has actually been on my TBR for a couple of years and I know it's a little bit of an older release as well. I just want to read more Mia Sheridan and because the cover got changed, it kind of just drew me in. And then the next three I've already mentioned in past videos. So From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata. I would love to finally get to this. This is like the other Mariana Zapata that I feel like I'm actually truly going to love. So really want to read this one. Running Wild by Katie Tucker. I would also really love to read. I've heard kind of mixed things about this one. Hopefully I love it. I don't know. I'm kind of scared, but I still really want to read it. And then Long Shots by Kennedy Ryan. I would really love to finally read this in April. I need to read this this year, so maybe April will be the month I read this. And then obviously there is the book that you guys pick for me for the next three months, so I might read that in April. I don't know what it is yet because I am pre-filming this video, so I don't know what you guys end up picking, but I will probably just leave it in the description box. So I think that is it for all of my April reading plans. I feel like they are really all over the place. Aside from Sweet Thing, I'm reading nothing on my physical TBR, which does annoy me, but at the same time, I just want to start picking up books that I have a better feeling about that I actually will give like four to five stars. Not that there's anything wrong with a three star rating, but it just becomes annoying when that's all you read are three star books. Like you just feel like you're missing something, you know? So I really want to try to focus on some books that I actually think will be a four or a five star read for me. It's literally April and I haven't had a single five star read yet. So I really want to try to change that. Let me know what books you guys are hoping to read in April and what new releases you're excited for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!